Hello everyone out there in YouTube land, my name is Will, this is Will of the Nerds, and we're back with another deck tech video here on deck stats. And this one, again, is probably a, a tribal deck, it, it basically is a tribal deck, but um, I don't know how many of you are going to like me for this, but it's an Eldrazi control deck. It's probably not a top tier one, it's probably not the best, but that's basically what it is. So we're going to Eldrazi control. And if you know what my name is on Steam, it's it's Ulamog the Hungry. So uh, if that doesn't give it away, then I really don't know what to tell you. <clears throat> but yeah, as usual, we're going to start with the lands. We're going to start with the swamps because that is what is up front. So let's go pick all of them out. All right, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six swamps. And on the back of the sleeves, we have Kozilek, I believe. Is it Kozilek? Yeah. Yeah, Ul I know who Ulamog is. There's Kozilek, and then uh, the one I always forget is the one that's on Innistrad. But yeah, Kozilek, Kozilek's the one that's on the back of this. I don't remember if it's it. Is in this deck? Is it an it? Is it a he? Is it a she? Because the one on Innistrad, they said is like, a, a, it's a she. I don't know. Anyway, I forget how many swamps I had. Um, six. <laughs> Fuck, for fuck's sake. No, not 96. Jesus. I had 96 and a play set of one, a play set of counter spells in my commander deck. Well, four different, four different counter spells in my commander deck. There we go. Uh, enter. Yes, that's what I want. Okay. So now we have Demir Guildgate, because that is what's next, and I'm assuming a playset, that is what it is. A playset of Demir Guildgates, so we can come over here. Demir Guildgate, nope, that's not right, that is right. Guildgate, boom, 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 a boom. And uh, we'll just go with, yeah, that works. They're probably all about the same price anyway, so I'm not worried about it. Actually, yeah, that's what they are. So, yeah, my idiocy actually worked out for me for once. Now I have wastes. And um, I don't have any here. One, two, three, four, five, six of these also. Um, it is not one there, so we have to type it in. Wastes, wastes, basic land. There we go. Um, six of them. We're up to 16, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six islands. So it's pretty even across the board for mana base. That gives us 22 altogether. All right, so let's get, I mean, the one that's right on top is my favorite card in this deck, and it is a, it's an uncommon card. So it is Void Shatter, and we have a playset of them. So, four, and it is Oath of the Gatewatch. And it's the Void, counter target spell. If that spell is countered this way, exile it instead of putting it into its owner's graveyard. So my one friend has things where he can get stuff back from his graveyard when he plays it. If I counter it, guess what? He ain't getting it back. It's getting exiled now. So, as you can tell from the first card here, that's that's basically the gist of the deck right there. All right, so we have three Ruination Guide. And let's throw that over here. That, okay, so if that was Oath of the Gatewatch, this one's Battle for Zendikar, right? Yes. Ruination Guide. What do you do? Devoid. Ingest. When this creature deals combat damage to a player, that player exiles the top card of his or her library. Other colorless creatures you... Uh, you control get a plus one plus zero so a maximum of plus three plus zero if you have all three of them out hardly ever happens but it's there okay next one is tide drifter it basically kind of does the same thing but um for defense instead of toughness instead of power yes I know words. I, I play magic. I know what they do. Yeah, so other other colorless creatures you control get a plus zero, plus one. They're in there because a lot of these creatures in here are smaller, so I need to buff them up a little bit to give them somewhat of a defense and to make them 
to basically make them more of a threat. Um, because I'm like, you're dropping a two drop, a three drop Eldrazi, like drone. Yeah. Drones that don't really do much. I mean, they have ingest and they have devoid, but they're pretty weak. So if you can't do anything with them and you don't have a way to buff them, then they're just kind of mildly, mildly annoying. If you can buff them a little bit to where they can actually last a bit, little bit, then, uh, perfect. That's, I did that last video too. If you watched it because my fat fingers keep hitting the wrong goddamn button. All right. Mist intruder battle for Zendikar. I think almost all of these are from battle for Zendikar, to be honest, devoid flying and ingest. Uh, I believe most of the drones in here have ingest. So you're going to see that a lot, uh, because I, I want to exile your, your cards that like, that's it. I want to exile your deck. I want you to not be able to play cards. All right. So this is Benthic infiltrator. Now, um, you are right here. We have two of you. Where did you go? You're up top. Okay. There are a lot of like, I'm surprised. No rares yet. A lot of commons and uncommons. Um, it can't be blocked. It has ingest and devoid. It's a three drop for a one, four, Again, you don't want to do uh, the whole point of this deck isn't to do like a lot of damage. It's to exile your opponent's library and hopefully get rid of their important cards. And if they play down an important card that didn't get exiled with ingest, that's what you have void shadow for or void shatter for. So you have a place out of them. You got to use them wisely, of course, but yeah. They're in there to get rid of the big stuff that doesn't get ingested. All right, next one we have is Thought Harvester. And this one's an uncommon from, what is this one? I know what it is, Oath of the Gatewatch. That's right. I have four, not three. Yeah, I have a playset. We have a playset of them. Let's take a look and see what it does. Devoid, flying, whenever you cast a colorless spell, target opponent exiles the top card of his or her library. There, that's why I have a playset of them. Because everything in here is colorless. It's devoid. So every card that you cast in this deck, they're going to exile the top card of the library. And since there's four in there, hopefully you have at least one down at all times. If you have more than that, even better. But chances are they're going to get rid of that as soon as it comes down. All right, next one we have is Dominator Drone. Okay, cool. It's not too far down the list here. We have two of them from Battle for Zendikar. It is the first black card. Devoid ingest when it enters the battlefield. If you control another colorless creature, each opponent loses two life. The life thing, cool. Again, it's in there for ingest. So far, everything in here is about exiling something. Every card exiles something, I believe. Which I actually, if, if I had the money to get a couple more Ulamogs, I'd probably get an Ulamog and just Void Shatter and stuff like this that just exiles everything. Like everything I play exiles. And I get that's probably what they're supposed to do. And there's probably a lot more better decks for this than mine. But you know what? This one's mine. And if you don't like it, Whatever, that's cool. All right, we have Bear of Silence, Devoid. Whenever you cast Bear of Silence, you may pay a colorless and a waste. If you do, target opponent sacrifices a creature. It has flying, and it can't block. So it's it's there for that second ability, um, making people sacrifice creatures, which kind of helps with bigger threats if you have the mana for it. So that's nice, but... It doesn't really help with the ingest, but it does help get rid of big threats, especially if um, they don't have a way of getting them back. Next one is Culling Drone for a two of. Like, that's the only rare so far, which is really spread. Like, there's a lot of commons and uncommons in this. Bunch of 25 cent cards. Devoid, ingest for a two two, two drop. Awesome. Um, I know a lot of these are very overpowered for what their mana cost is, but that's fine they're the ones that made the card they gotta live with it and i'm not complaining uh everybody else is probably complaining though grip of desolation for a two of this is another uncommon card where are you at battle for zendikar let's take a look 
25 cents exile target creature and target land okay that explains why it's six mana i saw it was like six mana i was like jesus christ but yeah it's a creature and a land so yeah that tricolored land you have that you know you haven't drawn the other one all game you have like four of them or you have like two in your deck i'm, I'm exiling it now bye you can hate me that's because that's exactly what i'm gonna do the one that's producing mana that you need that you only have one of i'm I'm exiling it. I'm sorry. There goes half the stuff in your deck. Hopefully it's stuff that I've exiled already. Anyway, Witness the End, which is another common card. Devoid, target opponent exiles two cards from his or her hand and loses two life. Um, This might actually be better to put uh, two more in. And maybe get rid of um, Bear of Silence and throw two more of them in there. You're exiling stuff. Just exiling left and right. Alright, next we have a two of. And it is transgress the mind. Transgress. Nope, two S's. Not D's. Although I do like the D. Just kidding. Or am I? Alright, transgress the mind. Battle for Zendikar. I need two of these. Thank you. Uh, Devoid, target player reveals his or her hand. You choose a card from it with convert a mana cost three or greater and exile that card. Okay, cool beans. I do like that card. How do I have 51? That doesn't make sense. Ruination, that's why. Do I only have three? Yeah, I do only have three ruination guides, right? I gotta look now. One, two, yeah, okay. So I must have a three of something else here soon coming up. Either that or I have an extra of something. Yeah, nope. I, I don't know. I'm an idiot. Okay, so Oblivion Strike. I, there's probably 61 cards in this deck. So next we have Oblivion Strike. Uh, okay, I'm uh, going to have to narrow that down. Oblivion Strike. There we go. Two of. Where are you? There you are. And what do you do? Devoid, exile, target, creature. Ooh, yes, of course. Give me all of that exile. All of the exile. I really need to make an Ulamog the Hungry deck. Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger. I'm saying the fucking tag from Steam. Yeah, Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger. It's, I need to make a deck, another deck with him in. My, I have a main Eldrazi deck that has him in it. But uh, I just need to have him in there with just... Every card exile stuff. Visions. Oh, it's visions. Not vision. Visions of brutality. There we go. Two off. You are down towards the bottom. Boom, boom, boom. It's an enchantment. Devoid enchant creature. Enchant creature can't block. Whenever enchanted creature deals damage to uh, damage, its controller loses that much life. Um, okay. Okay. This is probably one you can get rid of, in all honesty. If uh, I'm going to sit that off to the side for right now. I have two of them on here, but if we end up with more than 60 cards, which we're going to by one, so you can easily just throw something else in here. All right, so here's the other rare card that's in here. So we have Matter... Matter Reshaper for two of. Where are you? There you are. It's the gate watch. Click on you. Uh, when Matter Reshaper dies, reveals the top card of your library. You may put that card onto the battlefield if it's a permanent card with convert a mana cost three or less. Otherwise, put that card in your hand. Uh, okay, so yeah. Either way, it's it's kind of it's basically card draw, which is, in my opinion, good to have. Uh, they might not want to kill it, so it's just kind of there. You can chump block with it. You can attack with it if you have free. But it's basically a card draw, and that is why that is in there. Sire of Stagnation is... I think this is a mythic. Yep, it's a mythic. So we have three rare cards in here. Uh, I forget what the name of the card is already. Sire of Stagnation, Battle for Zendikar... What do you do? Devoid. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under an opponent's control, that player exiles the top two cards of his or her library, and you draw two cards. Okay. 
cool. That's actually... Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Visions of Brutality. We're going to take rid of one, and we're going to put Sire of Stagnation in. So we have two cards left. We're going to get rid of this. And we have two cards left, which would make it an even 60. So Visions of Brutality doesn't need to be in there. It doesn't really help much. Uh, the last card is Mind Melter for a two of. And now we need to find it. There we go. Let's click and see what it does. Um, discard Mind Melter can't be blocked. If you pay three colorless and a w uh, waste... Ugh. Target opponent exiles a card from his or her hand. Activate this ability only time you could cast a sorcery. All right. So, again, it's just all exile stuff. Exile everything. Um, I'm actually... If I can get... There's a few cards in here I, I, I should probably get rid of. And change it. Either that or I might look at Sire Stag... Sire of Stagnation and like Oblivion Sower and like a few of those bigger cards and just um, make an Ulamog deck that's just everything. Every card in it just exiles something. I play it, it comes out. If it attacks, it exiles. Um, maybe throw a little splash of red in there. Maybe red and blue. Try to give my creatures haste. That way they can ingest as soon as they come out that would be nice that sounds like a dick move sounds right up my alley but uh yeah we have six instants six sorceries and 26 creatures along with 22 lands and the weight really the wastes are that expensive that's really surprising um okay other than the lands like usual um, Sire of Stagnation is the most expensive. 389 a piece. That's not terrible. Um, okay. Minus $13 for the waste, because Jesus fucking Christ. I'm, I, like, this is what? What? I don't even know what set this is. Time Spiral Remaster. You don't get them from Time Spiral Remaster. Get them from fucking any of the Zendikar block. Any of the Zendikar sets. We'll have wastes. Just get them from there. That's fucking $13 cheaper, so it's a $20 deck. Yeah, it's a $20 deck. That's actually not really bad. That's really good for what this is, in my opinion. All right, so visual spoilers one more time. Yeah, what the hell do the waste even look? Yeah, I mean, if you want them, get them. I don't think they look good. I don't, I'm not a fan of the old border cards. Some of the cards look nice in it, but that does not look good. I like the, the full art wastes. If you're going to get them, get full art wastes. They look pretty. Um, if you don't know what they are, look them up. They're, they're pretty looking. In my opinion, they're pretty looking. But there is all of that. Go to the starting hand. That is terrible. New hand. That's also terrible. Mulligan. That's better. Um, okay, so start with a Demir. Add a card. Plop your waist down. Add a card. Play your island. Still can't play nothing. Add a card. Um, okay, so now you can play something. This would probably be a Thought Harvest. Yeah, Thought Harvester. D don't even th yeah, don't even give it a second thought that. Um, then you can play this. So no matter what you play, they're going to have to exile a card. So you have one, two, three, four, five mana. And you can play two spells. Cool. Say goodbye to two cards in your library. They're getting exiled. All right. And this has ingest. And this has uh, opponent exiles a card from his or her hand. Activate this ability only any time you can cast a sorcery. So you can only do it on your turn. All right. Comes over. You have... Okay. I would activate this ability and exile something from their hand. And then attack and exile something from their library. This is probably going to get blocked and killed. But you're going to be... It's whenever... Oh, it has to deal combat damage to a player. Okay, never mind. So it's probably going to get blocked. But you're going to exile something with Mind Melter from their hand. Um, Let's see. Do you have five mana? That takes four. Okay. Um, 
I'm just doing Mr. Truder's thing again, exiling a card from their hand. All right, so this can't be blocked, which is good. So I'm playing this and I'm playing this. They're exiling two cards off their library again. And this basically gives you card draw and this is going to do another card off their library because it can't be blocked. And awesome, you play it again. Another card goes off that another card goes off. Like you're just being annoying at this point. Uh, there's no real big card. This is why I, I might change this deck to have Ulamog in it because that would be the, the big card that pushes over the edge because you're just pinging little bit here and there. And then like you get to all of your freaking, you finally get Ulamog out. And if you, if they has haste, you're attacking immediately so you're just exiling stuff here and there, slowly pinging, trying to stay alive, slightly staying alive. And if you do, and Ulamog comes down and he has haste, then yeah, not fun. Um, I don't like... This is a good one to have. Sire Stagnation. So you might just have to throw a splash of red in there. Maybe a little bit of red. And have like maybe it's something that gives your creatures haste or like you need oblivion sower in here in my opinion to get you up on mana and then man maybe two um what do you call it uh, i can't remember what they're called but there's like a a two drop maybe no maybe it's not a two drop maybe it's, it's like a four i think it's a four or five drop but it it comes down and you can tap it for two mana i believe that would be good to have in here too, uh, especially if you can get five mana in a decent amount of time with that card in your hand. Then you get two mana up on the curve. Ulamog is what eleven? He's either ten or eleven. I don't know. It's been a while. But anyway, yeah, like it's. I'm not gonna go into because you have sixty card deck and you're not in it to do damage. You're in it to exile stuff. And there's no real big card that pushes you over other than sire of stagnation um which is whenever a land enter uh, oh it's under their own control too they have to exile so yeah that's why i would have a third one in here it's not a legendary creature too so you can have all of them down and i think it's a drone from ulamog himself because it looks like it is but uh there's the probabilities we will let it go there so if you guys could please like subscribe share Hit that bell icon, that way you get notified every time I upload a new video. You can follow me over on Facebook and Twitter. The links to those are in the description. And with that, I will see you guys on the next one.